Hey guys, Lost Wolf here. Welcome to Mission 6 of Star Wars Uprising by Victoria Kwong. Alright, first of all, let's check our crew runs. It looks like they're complete because they have the number associated with them saying how much is finished. So let's go from the third the tab third from the third down from the left. So we can click claim we can't click claim all yet because that's unlock at level 10. So let's claim it individually by uh tapping the claim option so even though it failed it says failed uh, th there's no penalty except not getting the stuff that you set your guys to get to but at least you can level them up even if they fail to get a little bit exp so each time you regardless of if you fail or complete it at least you get some exp and I failed all of it and there's no more opportunity runs, but let's send them off to regular crew runs. Oh, 100%. That's good. I like, oh, basic training. Get my guys higher. Uh, I'll do the level 2. Send one guy here. Okay, these, these are the easy ones. Alright, let's see. After we send them all off, we just have to wait until they're finished. So maybe I'll finish that later. Alright, let's move on to learning how to do dailies. So this is the the sector map. You can't do sector battle yet. And there's a background planet in the back called Horse Rub. But then there's no mission there. So the yellow icon indicates where you sh your main mission is and that you should go there first. The person next to the carbon score cantina shows you where you're at. And I can also move to the Longstar Marketplace if I want to. So if it says story mission, it says story mission up here and it tells you what level you have to be in order to finish. And there's an also side mission, which is a repeatable mission that you could redo uh, just to get level up materials and credits, but it does not give you experience points. It's only good to do uh, if you need materials to upgrade your stuff. So yeah. Well, I don't need to do that right now because this video is all about story missions. So that's what we're going to do. Daily credits. So this is going to teach you how to do uh, dailies. So let's uh let's do it. All right, Burning Con daily credit mission, Burning Con. You have some time before you need to meet with Short Paul. Use your map to complete the daily credit mission on Burning Con to earn some extra credits. All right, so there's two tiers right now. You get 750 for the highest one and two possible loots. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, I thought there was going to be a dialogue that pops up, but no dialogues for uh, daily missions. Well, this uh, this story, it's weird because this daily mission is part of the story mission, so. But usually, it's not part of the story missions. So as you can see, it's uh, story missions and dailies. The difference between them is that uh, dailies don't have any dialogue at all. You just jump in and start killing people and try to get to the end of the level. While story missions, they have dialogue and objective that you have to do. This one, you just have to get to the end. Some daily missions or assault missions will... Will have different game modes to, uh, randomly like for example you have a survival game mode where you just the enemies will, you, there's a small map enemies will keep coming out until you kill them all and this one is just to get to the end of like a corridor a maze and stuff I prefer the survival one I like enemies coming to me rather than me progressing through a maze or something just to get to the end but uh, too bad you can't choose what you want to do and they'll, I think they'll introduce assault missions later. There's uh, not really a big difference between dailies and assault. Uh, dailies give a lot more credits while assault usually give you more gears and more materials. And it helps uh, raise the sector battle um, I'll, thingy. I'll explain more about that later. But right now we're focusing on uh, finishing dailies. So let's do that instead. And during these missions, be sure to look around and try to grab as much 
crate boxes or treasure boxes as much as you can. Usually during dailies, you only get one of those per dailies. And during assault missions, you get like around three, I think. But I might be wrong because tier two, it gives three. It might be different for tier one. I remember since uh, I played this a while ago, they kind of changed like a lot of things. Oh, I gotta use that ability where I stun and push them back. Drinking one of the bathtub tanks. Ugh. I really wish I still had my flamethrower. I'm so used to it that I can't live without it. Yeah, it, it's holdout pistol is not even good anymore. I'm, I'm just, I'm just really sad about that. Well, at least it gave me a reason to dodge, you know. Jump in there. Ugh. Pew 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 pew. Come on, take him out. All right, and that's it for the daily. Okay. So mission complete. I leveled up to seven. All right. Credits collected. Three fifty nine. And I get chip lanthanide. All right. Let's head back. Okay. Let's see if there's any other uh, story. Oh, they bring you back here, but I think they're telling you to go somewhere else. So let's go to the map and go to Burning Con. And you see this little icon above location? That's your, where your main mission is. And it's at Long Star Marketplace. So let's head there, new location. Would you like to travel to Long Star Marketplace? Yes. Okay, welcome to Long Star Marketplace. It's it's really huge. Man, it's so huge. You know when you walk around. Uh it looks pretty empty right now, but I think they'll add people here later. I think you just have to progress the story. So for now there's only like these four. Oh, there's a bodyguard training where you can hone your, your skills. So uh there's combat passive, which is reduced melee and range damage by five percent. There's a grenade, I think that's pretty good. Uh, early game, so I'll probably get that in a bit. And there's power cell where you can use as much as you can, uh, as much energy as you can, for a little bit. But uh, but first, let me check the smuggler. Man, this Caltrops where it slows him down. There's overcharge where you do more damage, but reduces maximum. There's think fast. Ooh, think fast. It used to be my favorite one where it's the ultimate. When you use it, it um boosts your attack speed and everything. But now I use a, a different one. Okay, but let's uh let's talk to Short Paul. It's been a while since I've seen him in the very very beginning. Short Paul, my best junk dealer. Sorry about the mess with the imps. My good friend. No, no, it's all turned out fine. They chased you, left my nice little shop alone. How can I help today? I'm looking for a happy dad. Four limbs, ugly, talks like a farmer with his head on fire. Oh, Happy won't be meeting you. Yeah? He dead in a ditch or just sleeping one off? Had other business. Had other business. You want to work with the trade league? You talk to Short Paul. Better yet, you talk to me and let Short Paul play mastermind. Please, Lika. You'll spoil my fun. Well, now, maybe we should start over. I'm Victoria Kwong, and you are still short paw, a junk dealer at heart. But to keep my mind sharp, I keep my paws in other markets. I see what you did there, look at that pun. My associates here, Lika, Nadia, Oniria, advise my little operation. People like happy and yourself make my little business stronger. Flatterer. So, how are we making your business stronger today? The Iron Blockade. We've never had more demand for smuggled goods, but we also haven't gotten a shipment through in weeks. 
With your help, we hope to change that. A very special ship will be arriving in the sector soon. Its destination in the Metal system. Metal. One of the old hut jeweled worlds, right? Mostly abandoned. Might be a weak point in the blockade. Precisely. We need to probe the Imperial sensor network from the surface. Find a vulnerability. There's plenty of old hut equipment that'll work. Problem is, those abandoned systems are covered with abandoned security droids. Me and security droids are old friends. Not sure how I'm getting to Metal though. This is why I prefer to recruit pilots with ships. We can arrange a temporary captaincy. One of the hazmat scouts would be unobtrusive. A ride's a ride. I'll probe the blockade for you. Just get ready to breach it. Oh, that will require one final bit of chicanery. But first, things first. What? First things first, what? Oh, what? No, I accidentally clicked on him. Uh, okay. Let me see what ability do I want. Grenade. Uh, decision. Let's see how much I have first. Because, uh, I need money. Damn, where's the... F oh yeah, up here. I have 5,700. Alright, let's buy a, fill of, uh, a few abilities. I think I might use a scattered gun. Yeah, I think I prefer this one. I haven't used this before, but I heard it's really good. Well, not really good, but good enough. Okay, rank one scatter gun. I'll get that. Not too shabby. Um, let's see, rank one durable grenade. I need some sort of uh, throwing item, so I'll. I might get grenade. I forgot what the other one for the smuggler is. Did he even have one? No, they don't. So, overcharge. Nah. Streetwise, these are pretty expensive. Okay, think fast. I'll probably get think fast. Think fast is a pretty good alt. And then I'll buy the grenade. All right, since we got that out of the way, let's go check our abilities. Ultimate. Think fast. Crowd control. Yeah, I don't like holdout blaster, so let's do scatter gun. And so, instead of rolling, let's do grenade. I like throwing stuff and watching them blow up. Okay. Let's move on to the next mission. And it is... Oh, it's... Okay. So it's in a different planet. So, I'll teach you guys how to travel. So you click on the map thingy to the right the first tab and then you click on all system so it shows you like all the different system out there as you can see right now there is five system out but I can only travel as many as I finish the story so let's go to Metal and this is the influence that I was talking about in my last video and let's head here probing the sensor network Metal level 6 after pleasing Happy Dap with your work on the salvage missions, he arranged a formal meeting with the leader of the Trade Spine League, Short Paul. The Shadra fan explained of a ship heading to the Metal system, and he wants you to be on Metal's surface before the ship gets there. Using some still functional ancient hunt equipment from the surface, Short Paul asked that you probe the Imperial sensor networks for vulnerabilities before the ship arrives. The only reason I'm doing uh, two missions right now is just because the daily mission doesn't really count as a story. It looked like it did, but uh, it, it, it's, you still need to do it to progress. So this is the official sixth mission of Star Wars Uprising. So there's two different rewards and they both give different things. But since we meet the minimum requirement for tier two, we'll do that instead. All right, let's do it. All right, welcome to Metal, guys. About time. So we're really getting a ship through the Iron Blockade. About time. 
All the other gangs will be jealous. Assuming I get scanners up here and running, sure. Place smells like dried up slugs. What do you expect? You're standing on a hut graveyard. Just don't forget, you make short Paul content, we can play him against Happy. You make him mad. Tell you what, you worry about gang politics, I'll try not to get shot. Oh wow. Just a reminder, ultimate ability. Okay, so when you equip your ultimate ability, it'll be on the bottom right. You see that bar that fills around your ultimate ability? When you get hit or you do damage to enemies, that goes up. Okay, let's head in here. Wow, this hut planet is pretty beautiful. The hut droid's still here. Oh, whoa. I haven't used that before. That's pretty cool. It's good for knocking out melee. When you fully charge it, you do that. But if there's a... Uh... If they're pretty far away, I think I'll just... Oh my god. I've never used a shotgun before, so... I'll call it a shotgun. There you go. You double tap anywhere to throw a grenade. And then you do a directional to do a scattergun shot. I like the scattergun. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's a lot better than a holdout. Pistol. There you go. Look at that droid trying to throw something at me. I still miss my flamethrower though. That was like the strongest weapon I ever had. Boom, boom, boom. Rock, boom. Break it. Okay. Boom. I think it does pretty, pretty good damage. All right, but it's rank one right now. You can purchase rank two, but it costs faction coins, which I will explain later. But right now, I'm too busy having fun shooting droids. Okay. Alright. Pew 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 pew. Charge up blast! So right now it's not too hard because uh, with new abilities it makes life a lot easier for you. I'll tell you. Okay, since I have, if you look at my bottom right, the bar is fully charged. So you tap on that, activate your ability, and then you can see how fast I attack. Well, usually it's a lot faster. Well, you run faster too. It attacks, uh, the rank 2 is, is a lot better, because right now I'm using rank 1. Come on, get over, come over here. Ugh. Then I'll throw a bomb over there. Oh man, these guys are pretty strong. There you go, you want to get out a laser so you can shoot them a little bit more. Done. Okay, let's talk to this radio thingy. Short Paul, those scanning systems should be online. Do you need something? Short Paul is busy, but I'll let him know. Not enough data to get a solid read on the iron blockade yet. I figured. See you back on world. Soon as you figure the next site, I'll head back out. All right. That was a nice tidbit. At least we're getting somewhere, trying to get through the iron blockade. Hope you guys are paying attention to the story, if you guys care about it. Level 8. Okay. Oh, repetition earned. Rank up. You earned a rank of known with the Trade Spine League faction. Check your mail to collect your rewards for earning this rank. Ooh, I got a lot of items. Hopefully some of them are pretty good. And then when, as you're getting these items, they, they tell you if it's better or worse than you're equipped. Like, see, negative 26 PR, negative 17, negative 9. Alright, and I got that crystal. Okay. 
Every item you find and every item you level up is tracked in the armory. Tap your portrait to go to your character page. Alright. I think it's teaching you how to use the armory now. Tap the armory button to see or to enter the armory and see what you have found so far. Here you'll find a complete list of every item you have found and all the items left to find in the game. For every new weapon you find, you'll receive a reward. For each item you completely level up, you'll get a bigger reward. Completing a full weapon or gear set in the armory unlocks a blueprint. Essential for upgrading your crew members at higher levels. Alright, look at all the items I found. Oh. Oh yeah. On my other character, I already got the reward for having this. So, you have unlocked the tier 1. Okay. Okay. Let me see if my... Uh... No, it, it, it doesn't carry over. I was wondering if uh, the blueprints carry over. So basically, some crew remem uh, members required to rank up, you have to complete the blueprint, which is collecting a full set of armor and maxing it. I'll show you later. Oh yeah, right here, for example. If you go to Armory Gear, Damage Street Punk. If you finish um, lowering all of these to max, you'll get a blueprint. And depending which crew needs that blueprint, you could level them up to the next star level. Okay, let's see what's in my mail that said. Faction, reputation, ranking up rewards. Alright, I got five playing union marks. This is used to get more uh, abilities and a thousand credits. And I got the five hollow discs from before. Okay, let's see. I think... I can use that on bodyguard right here I have five so five is is there a scatter shot here I need 15 for a scatter gun so I would want to save that up in the future slows enemies for a short time or yeah I would save it up for now so but let's see what uh, short Paul has to say Oh, thank you. Not a scratch on my new troubleshooter. I'm very pleased. Kwong, have you traveled off-world often? A few times. When we were younger. Never anywhere nice as Metal, though. You tease me, Kwong. But spend enough time with the Trade League, and you will see wonders. Short Paul's got a job for you. We have another possible scanning station location. Head back to Metal as soon as you can. Alright. And I'll save that mission for the next video. This mission is a little bit, uh, this video is a little bit longer, but I hope that you guys are enjoying all the information that I'm trying to provide. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next epic Lost Wolf production or a Star Wars mission. Until then, stay frosty, guys.